Today, in this video, we are going to learn how we can look up a value in a table using both rows and columns. We can build a formula that does a two-way lookup with the help of offset and match functions. Since we will be talking about offset and match function here, I have a question for you. Which of the following argument is not demanded by Excel's offset function? And your options are reference, array, rows or columns. Pause this video and try to answer in the comment box below and I will provide you the right answer in the end of this video. So stay tuned. Hi, I am your tutor and welcome to my channel learn in 5 minutes. So let's start. We have a table here and our objective is to get the value where the row with the specified employee ID and the column with the specified column name intersects. Both our employee ID and column name are variable and our value should change when either of the input data is changed. First, let us use offset function and with the help of offset function, we will get the desired value. After that, we will inject match function in it to make our formula dynamic equal to offset open parenthesis as a reference we will select the starting cell in the table that is a4 row number of the employee id f7600 is 1 2 and 3 column number of department is 1 and 2 close parenthesis and we got the value as finance i won't be explaining much about offset function here if you want to know more about this function then I have a separate dedicated video on the same. I have provided the link of the same in the description box below and the i button above. Now, although we have the desired value, but this is still not dynamic. To make this dynamic, we need to make the row number and column number variable depending upon the provided employee ID and column name. Now, we will use match function in another cell to get the row number. Equal to match open parenthesis Lookup value is F7600 in cell A2. Lookup array is from A5 till A17 and match type is 0 which means exact and close parenthesis. And we got the result as 3 which is our row number. Even I won't be explaining much about match function here. If you want to know more about this function then I have a separate dedicated video on the same. I have provided the link of the same in the description box below and the i button above. We will again do the same to find column number in another cell and this time our lookup value is department in cell B2 and lookup array is B4 till F4 and match type is 0 and we got our column number. Now we simply need to replace our row number 3 in offset function with our match function which got us row number and similarly we need to replace the column number 2 with our match function which got us column number and we are done. Now our value changes whenever we change the employee id or column header. I hope you got a hang on how to use the combination of offset match to fetch a value from the table. Now let us jump to the question. Which of the following argument is not demanded by excel's offset function? And option b array is correct. It is not demanded by offset function. So that's all in this video. If you found this video useful, please like and share with your friends. And if you have not subscribed to this channel, do it right now and press the bell icon besides the subscribe button so that you don't miss on any new videos that I upload. Thanks for watching.